now let's test the next two website so i'll just test this nepalmatrimonial.com website so let's insert this in the verb i've already done here and it started to crawl even so let's go to the target select the target and it is just fetching so let it give a time to fetch some of the url and i'll just wait for a moment and i'll see how this works so so i've got or faced many link but you could see it has only the two parameters that is visible so if i just make this sorted so if i just press two times this param tab then it will get us the sign up in a search so let me just search if i just click on that it will get the information over here so it has some of the parameters so most of the parameters are here so let's send this to our repeater because repeater will see if we have the any parameter that is vulnerable so let's source for maybe it is encoded over here so what if i source okay if i source for maybe gender so let's source from gender so i'll just say female if i just press go let's see for female so female here is injected inside here that is in the function that is the function of the script so it is injected inside the script here so that means we have to make the payload so let me just grab everything from this script to this part where this is injected so let me just grab to this part let me copy this first open the sublime again i'll just paste it here so this is the female and female has been injected in this gender part that means first of all we'll simply close the script because it is injected in the script that means we have to close our script so first of all i'll just close my script and after i close i'll just inject my own script so i'll say script alert one and close my script so this is the payload and this should work so let me just copy this go here in the female i'll just paste our new payload let me just press go let me see the response in the browser let me just copy this link go over here paste and go and it is showing us the alert of one that means that was the field that was vulnerable over there so you could see we have got xss attack in this field that is a gender you can also try for this field and every field over here so let's go for another and see for the sign up let's send this again to the repeater and you could see we have a bunch of parameter over here so let's search for this first name or get something like udemy and let's see if this works let's press go let me search again for the udemy and it is showing no matches that means this is not vulnerable so let's go to the gender and say fem let's now search for your fem it has also no match so you can search for everything over here so you can search for the password you can search for the telephone over here date of year date of birth everything so you can search this parameter and if it reflects over here that means it has a vulnerabilities and you can also send this to the intruder to load your own payload so you can load your payload and see the response with this start attack tab over here or the button and see the response and see which of these payload work in that field so this is the way to search or hunt for the xss attack on the live website see you in the next one